The motto for the city of Austin is Keep Austin Weird, and one of the main attractions that makes Austin unique is its food scene. Austin has branched off of the traditional restaurant scene to provide people with a more unique way to dine. One way Austin has changed the traditional scene is the establishment of food trailers, carts, stands, trucks, and wagons all over the city. The popularity of these food trailers may be in due part to their origin. This video will focus on the theme of weirdness. It will incorporate the aspects of entrepreneurship, opportunity, and cultural diversity. This video will focus on the food stand Bananarchy and the food trailer Little Thai Food. Both of these food establishments are located on South First. The uniqueness of each of these food establishments help define what makes Austin weird. Austin is known in Texas as a city of opportunity, change, and progress. The food trailers and their widespread success points to Austin's receptivity to new things. The popularity of food trailers also reveals the entrepreneur mentality of Austin. It may seem that the food trailer eatery on South Congress would be the most popular due to its location, but it is actually the food trailers located on South First. One of the older food stands in Austin is Bananarchy. Bananarchy puts a twist on desserts by combining it with healthy food. This food stand even offers vegan chocolate to cater to the Austin culture. They recently relocated to South First from South Lamar. This relocation has been their fifth one in three years, but their enthusiasm to sell frozen banana desserts has not changed once. The popularity of this banana stand even has requests coming from the other side of the world from countries such as China. Austin is very, I mean, they're very entrepreneurial, and it's very much a support local businesses. I mean, that's the whole slogan, keep Austin weird, support local businesses. Like, they want creative, new, local things, and they're, vo they're very loyal to their businesses. And the food truck trend, I mean, it is huge here, and it just fits this crowd that Austin is just like, you know, like, live and let live, and like, let's just go hang out, and let's explore, and let's just stay outside, and... Um, yeah, and so I, I mean, it's my hometown and I love it here, but it's just, it's perfect. The people are perfect for food trucks. It's, I think it's a combination of all of them. There's so many different, there's so many different people who live here, you know, and one out of every three Austin nights or people that live in Austin aren't from Austin. And so it's just a very much, it's just a very chill city, you know, and it's, um, yeah, and it's just it's just very low key and there isn't a lot of pressure and there's a lot of freedom just to be yourself and I think that that just creates I mean people's dreams, you know, like people are just filled with freedom to dream. Um, I used to work for Travis County for a while before I decided to open a restaurant. Mm -hmm. So I have uh, quit county, then I went to open my own, they call Casey Thai Cuisine. So I opened about one year, then it's too much to do. In the restaurant? In the restaurant, too expensive, rent too high, you know, everything is too high. So uh, I don't make that good money to, to go on. So I just had to sell that one, then I opened the little Thai food for my own. So I just cook. I don't have to pay somebody to do for me. Mm -hmm. You know, I prefer to cook my own food because I know what I put in there, so the customer. I think a lot of things have to do with the owner. You know, like, like the owner, they might give you the menu a recipe to cook you pay them come work for you you might say okay you have to give them you know put salt in two hours they might put three hours they, they're gonna take so your recipes make you better than most type yeah of when you cook your own food it's going to be make better yeah you know exactly what customer like now if you pay someone they don't know they just come in here just you know Gosh, so the idea was never to start a food trailer. The idea was to open up a frozen banana stand. I had no idea what a food trailer was. We opened up Bananarchy, and then all of a sudden these food trucks came everywhere, and we were wondering what they were, and we had no idea, and then we started researching, and it was like, there are food trucks everywhere. Um, 
So when we opened, because we've been open for about three years now, um, it was it was hard actually to know what to do because you have to get you know all this all these regulations and you have to have health department approved locations and there's just all these things you have to do. And then it wasn't clear because not very many people had done it in Austin yet. So that was a huge obstacle, was just trying to figure out, well, what do we do now? And, um, and yeah, and then, so it's probably easier now to open one, but the city also has just put some really crazy fees because they can, and so, you know, comes and goes, so. Yes. I mean, they, they're they supportive, um, but they're, they're not really, like, right now, the food truck trend is huge, but they're putting lots of unnecessary laws and lots of unnecessary fees on just this whole process. Um, but also, the condos, like, they're building condos so much, and so you'll see, like, all these food trailer lots, they're closing down because condos are being built. Like the one off the of South Congress is closing at the end of this year, and um, there's two off the of South Lamar that closed, and so. The one, the big one? Yeah, it's closing at the end of the year. Why? Because of condos. Condos are coming in. In that parking spot? Yep. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's just, Austin is growing so fast. It's the number one um, boom city right now and the fastest growing population, so they have to, they have to build up, so. Yeah.